Hello, Rita here. Welcome to New Nail Tech Success, where I help you get started as a nail technician and create a business that you love and that is financially rewarding. Hope you guys are doing as well as I am today. Okay, so uh, today we're going to be talking about nail tech mask, and more than likely, you've seen nail techs in person wear this mask and on, on YouTube videos wear this mask. But these masks do not give us the kind of protection we need as nail techs. These masks are used um, in the medical profession to prevent large droplets and sprays from hitting their uh, face, nose, and mouth. So that's who should be using them, and this should not be our pri primary mask. So what is the best nail tech mask? According to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, shortened N-I-O-S-H, the best masks for us are N95s because they offer five layers of protection, and it looks like this. And it's going to filter out 95% of the particles that come in contact with it. So that means it it's excellent for when we are fouling. It's going to capture 95% of those nail, de nail dust filings. Also, um, it protects against bacteria and viruses. Um, so for COVID that we're dealing with now. So this is the mask that should be our primary mask. It has a nose guard to make it fit snugly around our mouth. It goes around our head. It goes around our neck. This is the A1 for us. Um, now, even if you have a dust collector, I would suggest that you still wear this mask um, as added protection. You can never be too safe. At least this is what I plan on doing. I don't have a dust collector now, when I get one, I will be wearing this mask with the dust collector. So, yeah, it's designed to make a very close fit so that nothing is uh, nothing is getting in. Here's a fun fact, guys. Um, firefighters cannot have beards. I don't know if you didn't know that. But, and the reason for that is because hair will restrict the seal. It will not make it fit as tight on their faces because they wear um, masks that are like this to where it ha has to have a snug fit. So if there's hair, it's going to compromise that. So they can't have beards or hair on their face. So if you are a male and or just have more hair on your face and you wear this, you want to make sure that to get the best fit that you remove that hair. So to test to make sure that you have this mask on right, you're going to um, take breaths breathe in and out and there should be no air escaping from the side if it is you need to tighten the nose grip and make sure that it is secure with the head straps and what have you when COVID first hit people were buying the N95s because they are the best for protection but the CDC the Center for Disease Control was asking the public not to buy this, these masks, the N95s, but to allow the medical personnel and those first responders who are more at risk to get COVID to have use of these masks. But even with that order, um, there was a limited supply, a shortage of N95s. So the CDC allowed an executive use authorization for other countries to submit their masks that they were using. Um, we tested them against our standards. And if they met it, then we then they were approved and given the name. And they are the K95 mask, as you see here, K95. Now, these masks are around the ear, which is different from our N95s. But they both have the nose guards. Um, to help with the secure fit, five layers of protection. Um, so this is what is a good alternative for the N95. Now you have to be aware of the fakes because there's many variations of this, as I stated. Um, they may look the same, but upon close inspection, they're not the same. Now, 
if you get a K95, a real K95 that's authorized, it will have this K95 on it. It's going to have that. And it's going to have these numbers. From my uh, research, it's the same number because this is a different company, 3M. And they are a K95, but they still have the same number. And this is a reputable company for um, face coverings, 3M. So it has the same thing. So if you have a mask that looks like this, and I bought some, it just looked like it, and it just had the company name. It had no KN95 on it. It had none of, no numbers on it. That is a fake. So some of the cons associated with wearing these kind of masks, um, you've probably experienced it this past year and a half, is that you get ear soreness when you have these around your ears for so long. Um, so to prevent that, I did find these because I was having that problem. These extenders to lengthen the straps so that you don't have that constant pressure on your ears. And you, and you can just place it in whatever section on this that is most comfortable for you when you have the mask on. So you just put it under there, under here. And then when you put your mask on, then it's like, it's like this behind your head. So it gives you that extra length so it's not causing constant pressure and making your ears sore. Another thing since I wear glasses is the fogging of the glasses. Now with these, I didn't have that problem because this, I don't know if it was so tight of a shield and I put, it came underneath my, the, my glasses so when I breathed, it was not going in my glasses. It was just staying contained inside the mask. So that's another good thing about the K95s and N95s. But if you need that spray, I'll have the link to that and everything in the description box for you. So the N95 and the K95 will protect us from um, nail dust and viruses and bacteria but it's not going to protect us from inhaling vapors, primarily for us nail techs, that being um, acrylic. So when we breathe in acrylic vapors, um, it can cause us to have dizziness, headaches, nauseousness, and what have you. Um, and even if you don't get these physical discomforts, you should still be wearing a mask when you are working with acrylic. And I'm going to even say it, even if you have an air purifier. Again, extra protection, nothing wrong with that. And so for that, it's recommended that we use a half mass respirator with cartridges. This is a full coverage mass, meaning it's going to protect against the particles, chemicals, gases, vapors, bacteria, viruses, all of that. Um, COVID, but the only thing about um, this mask and when it comes to protection against COVID is that it's only going to protect you. It's not going to protect the other person because as, as you breathe out, others can still, you know, breathe in your air, but nothing can get through this part right here, which is the filter. So yeah, I only use this mask when working with acrylic. I don't ha have an air purifier yet. So this is what I'm using in the meantime, and again, I'll be using it still when I get the uh, air purifier because, guys, our health as nail techs is just something I feel is not really addressed in the nail community as much as it should be. So we have to do that individually for ourselves. So let's do that. Now this mask comes in medium or large. I have a smaller head, but the large fits me okay. So. You just go by what you think. Now, it looks very intimidating, guys, but it's not. It's And it's not heavy. It's actually quite comfortable. You just have to get used to wearing it. It's reusable. And all you have to do is, once, is adjust the straps. And the way you do that is by actually lifting up this plastic part and then sliding it to the length that you want. And that, it has it on both sides. No. This one part goes over your head. And this part goes behind your neck. And I'll show you 
what it looks like when I have it on. And then you just adjust it to make it fit comfortably for you by doing these straps. So I was just putting it on first and then making the adjustments. But you don't want to over tighten it, guys. Um, because that, that's going to defeat the purpose as well. So these cartridges, once you breathe in and it filters it out, these cartridges are actually going to um, collect it. These are good for six months, even if you don't uh, open them. So you want to, when you get them, if you purchase this, you want to start using them right away. And what you're going to do is, you see this line here, you're going to match it up to the line on the respirator like that. And then just press in and it's going to lock in place. And then to take it out, you just do it the other way, counterclockwise, and it comes out. When you change the cartridges, it's a good idea to change the filter at the same time so they'll be on the same change out schedule. And the way you open this, you can just take a pair of scissors and just pop open the, um, the top, flip that back, and this is the cartridge, just a little rubber piece. And then you will get a new one and put that in place. And then just snap it back like that. And to see if you have this on right, you're going to put the cartridges in place. You're going to have it on. It's going to have the right appropriate fit. And then when you exhale, it should bulge out a little bit. And you're going to check and see if there's any air coming out on the sides between your face and this shield. And if so, you want to adjust the straps. To clean this, you can just, you know, wipe it off with Clorox wipes, sanitizing wipes, but eventually you want to wash the whole thing. To wash it, you would just use regular dishwashing liquid, um, like you would be washing dishes, but then you want to disinfect it too, after which, which would, you would put it in three ounces of Clorox with a gallon of water and then you would just hang it and let it air dry and then to store it while you're not using you would just use like a freezer bag a plastic freezer bag that can like snap clothes or zip clothes and that's it guys these are our two masks you want either a K95 or N95 for your dust fouling's and for your acrylic vapors, you want this bad boy right here. Half mass respirator. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. Okay, I couldn't smell any of my air freshener that I just sprayed, so this bad boy is still working. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And just let me know what you think about these masks. Will you upgrade? What will you do? What are you using now? Alright, until next time, take care.